welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing Mina from Sing 2. So this one's going to take a little bit of time so grab yourself a sheet of paper, some markers and let's do this. We're going to draw Mina vertically with a sheet of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the trunk of her nose and mouth area. So right about at the top of the page right around here we're going to come down and then we're going to hook over and then we're going to kind of like turn to the left and then we'll create this like little nostril piece at the bottom and then when we come up this is going to be close close together and we're going to kind of follow this but as we go up it's going to get wider so we're going to go and this line can be kind of like a little bumpy it doesn't have to be perfectly straight but we'll go and then we'll hook this over a little bit and then just above this line right here we'll draw the eye the right eye so we'll do a line like this and then we'll come up like that and we'll do a little circular shape on the left and then we can do a highlight in there then right next to this eye, right about here, not all the way to the edge, but right about here, we'll do another eye and we'll come up and kind of do the same thing. And then this one will be a little bit more towards the center. And we'll do our highlight like this. Then we could do a couple little eyebrows. So we'll do like this eyebrow shape up in this direction and then another one like that. Now that we have the eyes in place, we'll draw the right side of the head. So about halfway up the trunk, about halfway, we'll start coming out to the right. So we'll come out a little bit. We'll stay close. And then just as we get towards the eye here, we're gonna wanna be a little tight with the eye. So we're gonna kind of curve. And then this will come in and sweep in a little bit and we'll be a little close like that. Then we will round the top of the head, come over to the left and then we're going to hook down. And then what we're going to do here, this is where the shoulder is going to be. So we're going to stop right about there and then we're going to bend this so it's going to be a little bit of a point. So we're going to come over and down and then we're going to curve like that. We'll finish the mouth area. So as we get to the top here, we'll come down and over and then we'll create a little like cheek shape like that over there. Hey guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please help us out and click that subscribe button down below. We really appreciate it. Thanks. So we'll do these two lines coming out on the right side. And then we'll do this kind of like this circular shape like that. So these aren't the ears. These are kind of like these antennae. And we'll do another two on this side. And then this will be a round shape like this over here. Okay. Now we can do the ear, so we'll do this left ear. So space from this shape here, we'll leave a little bit of space, we'll come over, and we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna hook down, kind of like to where this shoulder is, and then we're gonna go into the body, and we're gonna hook this out like that, like a little bit of a U shape. And then what we'll do is we'll come up, and then we're gonna get really close at the top and then curve like that. And then this shape right here will come up like that. Now we'll leave a little bit of a space for later. On the other side, we'll start right about here. We're gonna come out and then we're gonna kind of go down and we're gonna flare this out over to the right. And then right where the cheek starts coming out of the trunk, we're gonna go almost where that intersects, right about there. And then we're just gonna come down and meet up. 
with our other ear side there. Then right about here, we will come up and this will get close to this edge right here. We'll come up and then we'll kind of come back down like that. All right, guys, good job. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna start working with the upper body. Okay, and I'm leaving a lot of space because we're gonna do the center shape and then the legs, all right? So over here on the left, we will create a line that comes down and this is gonna be kind of like the collar of this sweater. So we'll just draw a little line like this and then we can kind of create another line that kind of comes off like that. And then this will come up and hook over. And then we'll have another line that kind of comes like this. And we'll leave a little bit of space over here. We're gonna have like a microphone in that area. Now, we're gonna come down from here and we're gonna go towards the left of our page. So we're gonna come down. And now this gets a little bit of tricky. So I think the best thing to do is let's draw the hand with the microphone in place. Okay, so that way we have enough spacing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curve like this, and these are gonna be three fingers, okay? So we're gonna do one finger here, then we'll do another one like this. So we'll just kind of have these like U shapes or backward C's. And then we'll do another one right about here like that. And then this will come like this. And then we will create from this point to this point, we'll connect those with a slight bend. And then we'll do some like fingernails so we'll have like a curve like this. We'll do another one like that. And then the last one like that. Now, she's holding a microphone. So what we'll do is we'll draw a round circle shape like that. And then we could put two lines that are curved in the middle of this microphone. And if you wanna put a couple dots in there as well, we can go and do that. So there we have our microphone. Now what's good is we can go out from here with a little bit of a, a cuff shape. So we'll do these extensions off of the hand like that. We'll join those lines together. And then we'll continue. I'm gonna start at the bottom here so then we can meet up with our shoulder area here. So I'm gonna come over like this, and then I'm gonna hook this elbow and then kind of meet back up like that. Then I can extend this top part of the sleeve and the arm, we can do that. And then she has like this pinstriping kind of design in the middle. So we'll kind of go like that. And then, you know, cloth and fabric kind of bends and what we can do is just go up like this and then we'll just come up and fade, fade that up over there. So that'll kind of go to the back of the, the arm. All right, guys, the next thing we can do is we'll put a couple, we'll just kind of connect this here, but we'll put a couple lines right in the middle of our jacket over here. So there's one, we can have like another one right there. Those would be kind of like stripes on the front of the jacket, the sweater. And then what we can do is you come in from this elbow, just a little bit right around here, and then we'll kind of curve this out. And then this is gonna round all the way to the other side, just like that. And then before we finish, let's get that other arm in place. So right about here, I'm gonna draw a line that comes down. And then this is gonna hook out and then come back in like that. And that'll make, make it easy for me to go and connect. And then I'm just gonna finish this off. I'm gonna add the little bottom part of the jacket. So this will kind of extend down. And then we'll have this kind of like this elastic piece that kind of keeps the bottom of the jacket tight, just like that. You can kind of put a couple little, little lines in there. And then what we can do is we can get the other arm in place. 
So this arm is going to stop and end right about here. So what I'm going to do is go across like that. And I'm going to try to get this distance here, the similar distance there. So from here to here, we'll try to draw the same kind of shape like that. Then what we can do is go up a little bit. And then this will be the, the little cuff piece like that. And then we can come up from here and we're gonna come into the ear, okay? So we're gonna come up, and it's just gonna kind of bend like this into the ear. Then we can put a couple lines like this, and then there's a pocket that you kind of put your hands into to keep them warm. What I'll do here is we'll just draw a curved line like this, and then we'll just do another, another one like that. We'll draw these lines across like this and then another two lines that kind of go over to the other side so that's kind of where you she can stuff her hands in there and be nice and warm and then I'll add one more line up over here like that we'll go back up to the head and we'll just add a few more little crease lines on the nose on the trunk as you go down just like that, and then you can start to turn a little bit as you go around there. Awesome, guys. How you guys doing? Are you keeping up? All right, here we go. We're almost to the finish line. All right, guys. Let's go, and before we finish this hand, we're going to come down with the pants. So we're going to come down like this, and then we're going to have a little bit of a ruffle. Maybe there's like one or two ruffles. And then we're gonna come on this side and kind of do the same thing. It's gonna kind of ruffle a bit and we can draw in the lower part of the pant on this side. So I will kind of do this and then that'll give me a good spot for this side where I should end on this side. So I'll come like this and I'll have a couple of kind of folds just like that in the pants. And then this will come across like that. So we'll stop something like that. And then this pant will come up, over, and then we'll come right about here. And then we can do a shape that's curved a little bit like that. And then we'll come over, and then this will kind of come down and we'll, we'll taper that towards this this leg over here so come down and this will be rounded a bit and we'll come down again and like that then we can add a couple like creases in the pants right here we can do one like that do a couple over here and another one like that pretty simple let's go back up to this hand and finish off this hand so I'm gonna come off of this curve. I'm gonna come down just a little bit and then we're gonna flare out. I'm gonna put one finger there and then we're gonna come close to this one. I'm gonna kinda of come and then we're gonna round this one over. And then this one will be a shorter, shorter finger like that. And then there'll be one that goes into the pant area like that. So we can create the fingernail shape. So we'll come up, over, and down. This one will come across. We'll have a part of this one like that. And one like that. Now remember this stripe that we drew over here? We'll do another one on this side. So we're gonna have a stripe like right about here. And then this will just come up and just like hook over to the left and kind of fade onto the back side. All right, now we just have the shoes to draw. So I will draw a line that comes over to the right, just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna come down towards the left. And then this will just come and extend down like that. So we'll have it rounded a bit. And this will come up like this, and then as this comes up, we'll have this come down like that, 
and just kind of meet up and that becomes like the toe and then we'll draw the rubber outsole there and we'll have some shape over here maybe there's like a lace or two on this side like that and then we could put like just like maybe a design line over there and then on the right foot we will draw a curve like this and then we'll have this line kind of come out towards the bottom right then we'll flatten this a little bit and we will right about here we'll hook this up and this is going to come way up and down and then we'll draw a rubber outsole and then we'll just kind of draw the other side of the shoe there maybe a couple laces like this and then we'll just draw that striping all right guys i just finished drawing mina the next step is grab yourself some markers and we'll color this in i'm going to speed it up so you can follow along and i'll see you in a bit We just finished drawing Mina from Sing 2. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like our channel and click that subscribe button down below. We make videos every single day and we want you to not miss out on any one of them. All right, so until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.